if we're around blood, I don't care who you are. I'm going to use gloves and protect myself. So why wouldn't we do the same thing in this situation? No, it's not something as obvious as blood, but guess what? This is airborne. This is something that's respiratory. So you need to protect yourselves from something that's maybe not so obvious. And there's 25 people out in line and uh, it's usually it usually takes maybe two, two and a half hours to get through. Um, they only let 10 people in at a time. They're pretty strict about that. I think there should be an essential need for these fabric stores to be open and there's very limited which is why there's lines like this. I don't live in Virginia. I had to drive 30 miles just to get here for the fabric to be able to make it today. So it was for us, for me, for my family and my co-workers more important for me to take the day off, try to get the squared away so that tomorrow when I walk in I've got a way for us all to be protected a, a little bit more. At the hospital that I work at, we have very limited numbers of N95 masks. So what we are being asked to do um, is to go ahead and make some fabric coverings for our N95s. It's a good thing to do with my daughter, try to interact with her, but that's also to help her understand that it's, it's beneficial for other people during this time. Hopefully that's something that she can learn from. I can only remain positive and I can only hope that situations and, and scenes like we're looking at right now where people are trying to take the measures to properly protect themselves will get us over this hump. Uh, we can't go into it thinking that tomorrow is the end of world. We have to go into it and just say, hey, this is the fight that we're fighting and let's give it our all.